And I'm aware of this. And I'm telling you that this is the way that these people are. So here's a really weird video that's kind of <laughs> four or five years late, frankly. But it was inspired by something. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say right now, this is not going to be a family-friendly video. This is going to be short and sweet, but I have to use some words that are not acceptable in ultra-polite society, but are totally okay behind closed doors where all the adults can actually talk. Yeah, you remember during the campaigns and leading up to the 2016 election where Donald Trump's Access Hollywood hot mic was released. In that hot mic, he said, and I'm going to pull it up and read it just to be sure, this is what Donald Trump said in the Access Hollywood tape. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. He didn't say it the way I said it. He said it more like, when you're a star, they let you do it. They let you do anything. You can grab them by the pussy. Basically, people accuse Trump of admitting to a sexual assault by saying this. Now, on its face, <laughs> first of all, how do you come to that conclusion and not be a moron? In context, grab him by the pussy is prefixed with something that indicates when this pussy grabbing happens and under what circumstances it happens. What is often overlooked and ignored on purpose by people who want to cast Donald Trump in a very poor light is that he wasn't saying he grabbed people by the pussy. He was saying that women, some women, will use their sexuality to obtain access to the power of powerful men. And they do this by allowing those powerful men to perform acts upon them to grope or otherwise to perform various sexual acts without directly direct consent. If the woman had a problem with this, it would be one thing, but he's describing a consensual situation. But this is not really the point of what I'm saying either. You just need the background for it to make sense. If we were to not approach the Donald Trump Access Hollywood quote with extreme bad faith and an attempt to just find any way possible to make it as bad as possible for Donald Trump, if we instead were to be a reasonable person and actually attempt to understand what it says and what the bigger meaning of it really is. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. He is acknowledging that this power dynamic exists, that this manipulation tactic is employed by women who pursue power by taking it from powerful men using their sexuality. If anything, you want a leader that is aware of this power dynamic and will call it out. Now, what's going on here? He's telling someone about this power dynamic. Oh, when you're a star, you can do anything. They'll let you do anything. They'll let you touch them in ways that would otherwise be inappropriate because they want to tap into your power. And I'm aware of this. And I'm telling you that this is the way that these people are. Now, he didn't say either way whether he participated in said grabbing. It's an observation, not a statement of what he was doing. So you want me to believe that this non-admission of assault is a bad thing. As far as I can see, it's one of the best things that he could have said. He didn't acknowledge any kind of wrongdoing, but beyond that, he's recognizing a power dynamic that everyone knows exists, yet we're not supposed to talk about it. You're not supposed to discuss promiscuous power-seeking women. Some people call them gold diggers, but you're not supposed to discuss this because it somehow is hateful against women, despite the fact that the people who think it's hateful against women also have a tendency to be people who don't want women to be heterosexual in the first place. It, it's real bizarre having this sort of you can't be you can't you can't say something that's sex negative, but I am the most sex negative radical there is. I, I digress again. Uh, the point is Donald Trump saying that there are women who exist who will let powerful men touch them in ways 
that are not appropriate because they want access to those men's power, that's something that you want to have. You want someone to have those observational powers, to recognize those dynamics, and be willing to discuss them. I don't see how this is supposed to be a bad thing. But you know what? If you think that it is a bad thing that he recognized a power dynamic that leads to potentially quite unfair imbalances in society, that lets people illegitimately climb the ladder, that arguably is how Kamala Harris got where she is, then why don't you go down to my comment section and let me know exactly why it is that this thing, which is often taken out of context and often framed in a certain way so that it will be interpreted further under that framing, let me know why you think it is that it's still a bad thing. As far as I can tell, that's exactly what you want in a president. Observation and call out of bad things. Anyway, that was my rant. Have a good evening. Take care. Be well. Go vote, but not for Biden. Jesus Christ.